Hey, what's up and welcome back to Aaron Reacts. This is the second in a mini series of All of Me uh, from Angelina Jordan doing her version. Um, and this is the first live performance that we're going to do. So super excited for this. This is at the age of 12. We did a private, you know, performance recording before. We know that Angelina lights up and, and, and is a completely different performer, right, when she's singing live. So definitely looking forward to that. Um, this is in Preussen Huset um, in December 20th, 2018. Now, I have seen something in Preussen Huset. I don't recall what, to be honest. I, I, I mean, it's a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, a challenge to keep up with the over 70 Angelina reactions I've done. And in many cases, I've only done them once and move on to the next, right? I'm moving quick. So um, please forgive me on that. But yeah, I think we've seen this um, place, this location performed before. So maybe it's even the same band or something. But uh, let's dive in. Um, yeah, looking forward to it. Ooh, fun. I love the choppy. Ooh. Good piano player. Mm. So why not Mm. Okay, so, yeah, so we did hear a uh, full 32 bar um, solo there and, and uh, you know, fantastic um, pianist there. I mean, that was a wonderful solo, uh, a lot of fun. It was very, um, you know, it's one thing a solo, but it's another to go with the, the, the feeling of the music and the group and, and to coordinate. Um, this is a great band, actually. Um, they sound good. Um, I'm loving that bass player, even though it's simple bass lines. Sounds good. I mean, everything's in the pocket. They're tight. I love them. They sound great. Um, and I feel like they're really good for her, especially at this age. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. Um, so what's, and, and I like the arrangement and, you know, the sound of the group, uh, you know, what they're doing. So, um, I think this is roughly the same tempo, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I also think that, uh, her style is much different than the other one. 
that we did, the private performance. It's much closer to the 1941 version of Billie Holiday with a more smooth tone. But we do see Angelina Jordan throwing in some of those super wide vibratos that are reminiscent of Billie later in her career. Um, so there's some aspects of that. But what I'm, what I'm, uh, what I'm trying to say, <laughs> um, for me, this isn't as emotionally involved as she was in her private performance, which again is indicative of the 1941 version of Billie Holiday. And so, you know, obviously it's exceptional. Um, and she's right. I mean, it's amazing. It's what people are probably accustomed to hearing with Billie Holiday. Um, I actually so far prefer the other version, although I really enjoyed that uh, piano solo in the group. But, you know, in terms of her singing, um, usually she shines on a, a, a live version. Now, it's not clear to me when that private recording was. Maybe it was after this and maybe she was experimenting more. Um, I don't think I have an actual date, so that might make sense. Although it looks like this is... December of 2018, so it would have had to have been in the next month or so before she turned 13, unless the date's wrong. But either way, um, she might have just been experimenting, playing with it. Maybe she felt that it was safer to go with this type of performance. And this is the other thing that you notice with with these musicians. Someone asked to comment, you know, uh, for me to comment on, uh, you know, my experience. And so here I will. Um, right? Is we have a series of all of me's, and as she progresses, I guarantee you, just because it's gonna happen. The more she performs live, performance or rehearsals are one thing, but the more she performs this live, the more that she's going to feel comfortable experimenting and trying different things and adding on and so forth, right? And so this is the first, I believe, at least that I can see, first performance from her for all of me. So she may not have been as um, uh, secure or maybe even just still working it out. Maybe, maybe she's still doesn't feel comfortable with her version not that she would be embarrassed we know that she's like never embarrassed right but maybe it just didn't fit the theme of the you know the band there's a lot of reasons that she may not have gone this route or it could be as simple as like this happened earlier than the other one but um, it's definitely a more cleaner smoother more close to the original version of it um, I do prefer the other version the, the 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 more harsher if you will uh sound from her because it feels more emotionally involved but let's see where she takes it maybe she maybe she changes that up or what Can't you see I'm no good without So I don't, <clears throat> sorry, there was a lot to cover in the first reaction, right? And so I might, this, there might've been some of this in there and I just didn't pay attention or didn't comment on it. I don't recall commenting on it. <clears throat> now all of a sudden my voice is cracking itself. Um, and so she's really playing with some of these rhythms where she's kind of swinging behind the beat a little bit laid back um, and then right on time, um, almost straight, you know, beats that, and then swinging, um, you know, here in the latter part of this, this song. And I don't think I heard it as much in the beginning. Again, I could be wrong, but you know, maybe I'm just paying more attention to it, but I'm hearing it here. You Nice. So, okay, this is beautiful. So, what I didn't what look, I I was literally confused because I I thought it was an audio issue. I thought maybe they cut out the mic or something. Um I'm not sure exactly where it is. Yeah, so here when I heard this just a moment ago, I thought that something happened 
with her voice or the audio or the mic because she cuts it shorter, right? And the ending is an abbreviate, uh, not abbreviated, elongated me. But no, she changes the ending. And I don't know all the other versions of Count Basie Orchestra and Frank and so forth to know if this is the case. But we also know that at the age of 12 is when she had Fly Me to the Moon with Quincy Jones. And this ending is much more similar to the Fly Me to the Moon Quincy Jones arrangement. Right? Where it goes, doom, 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 you. Right? Um... And so she she sings the the last little bit all of uh, me twice, and then the second time it's more elongated with the little pauses in there. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, she's such a pro. I mean, really, it's it's ridiculous at this age of 12 how much of a pro she is. Right? Like, just, it's another day in the park uh, for her. And there was nothing special about this. It was very, um, you know, much lighter mood and, and feeling and sentiment. And you know what? Now that I'm kind of summarizing... I think it was probably deliberate for her to sing in this style. Because with that kind of uh, quartet, you know, plus her and the instrumentation and the arrangement, it's so much lighter that that harsher tone doesn't really fit. Wow. So I, I, I guess I really didn't comprehend it uh, to beginning. And, and it, it, it sounds better, but, you know, I was just shocked at the difference in styles. And here, she's clearly, because it just makes sense. Again, now that I'm thinking through it, I'm sure it was a deliberate choice where she just decided if it's the, the, the arrangement, the mood better, to sing in this style. And, and going back to her being such a pro, I mean, that is like a, that is a multi-decade veteran mindset. And by multi-decade, I mean multi-decades of performing professionally. And here she is at the age of 12. I mean, talk about precocious prodigy. Unreal. Unreal. All right, well, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please go do it. Go ahead and do so now. Um, yeah, and also, if you're an angel, check out the link in the description. I went to town on the first video about more things on it, so I won't do it here, but there's a membership site um, where you can get some extra perks. So do check that out. We will see you in the next one. Thank you.